back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marissa and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two little kids. A lot of my videos on my channel are motherhood, day in the lives. I feel like I always start my videos in the car, but that's just how it is for me. So today's video is gonna be super chill. I just took the kids to the park and now we're heading back home so that way I can make them smoothies and hopefully they'll nap. This video is just gonna be super chill. You guys are just gonna be hanging out with me. Um, I'm probably gonna be prepping and preparing and packing for us to leave because we're actually gonna go to California in two days so i need to make sure the house is clean all the laundry is done i already cleaned the bathrooms yesterday so that's all good to go we just got to maintain them clean before we leave i'm going to be cleaning out the car seats cleaning out my car even though we're not taking my car we're taking my husband's car i still want to take the car seats out clean them wash them make sure they're clean and then put them in my husband's car and then i need to go to target some point today to get like snacks for the kids and that kind of thing um because usually when we go on our trips we'll just stop somewhere like at a gas station i'll just get them like chips or something but i want to try to get them like a little bit of better options but i do want to get candy for them because my daughter does not like the car seat and i'm gonna use candy as like my last resort when she's like screaming her head off in the car so i hope you guys enjoy this vlog don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and let's just continue with the vlog everything that I got at Target. Like I said, I just wanted to get snacks. So I got two of these popcorners. These are so good. We've been obsessed with these lately. So I got two of the white cheddar. They were two for seven. And then, like I said, I got me and Tim energy drinks for the drive. He'll probably not have these, but I just got him one just in case. He likes them, but he prefers Rains or Bangs. But I thought of him, so I got him one and one for me. I got these Smart Sweets. I've never tried them, but I always see people post them. So I'm gonna try these. Um, but like I said, I got this candy as like my emergency when the kids are being super fussy in the car because it is an eight hour drive. I know Santi will be fine, but like I said, my daughter does not like the car seat. So these are gonna be like emergencies. And then I got these little Pocky sticks cause we've been liking these lately. So I got four of those. And then I did get the kids these little like flashlights where you put like the little circle thing in there and they can like put it on the wall. This is gonna be like my other emergency thing to give the kids, mainly Sophia, cause it spins. So when she's like super fussy, I'll just give her this um, and then I'll give Santi his as well. But I'm not gonna show them this right now. All right, so this is our lunch for today. Just a turkey sandwich. Santi has some chips on the side and some grapes. I didn't give any chips to Sophia, but I know she's gonna want some. So I'll probably give her little bites of mine, even though I know you're not supposed to, but I'll watch her so it'll be fine. And I have my turkey sandwich and I'm just keeping it really simple for today and tomorrow because we leave on Friday. So yeah, this is our lunch. Right now I'm standing in a corner. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. You guys so i am in santi's room and i have everything laid out i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i'm packing everything i was gonna do this tomorrow but i don't want to do what i did last time and wait last minute i literally waited till the very last day to do everything like clean organize pack and i was so tired and so stressed out i didn't sleep good so i don't want to do that this time i'm just gonna do what i can today and then the rest tomorrow so this is the kids clothes i have santi's clothes sophia's clothes and then that baby stuff so that diaper bag um i can't believe i bought that honestly diaper bags are such a waste of money when you're gonna be a new mom like i get it you want to buy a cute diaper bag but you do not need one like i remember when i got pregnant with sophia i really wanted a pink diaper bag i went out i searched high and low found this one it was like almost it was like 150 or i know it was like more than 100 dollars, and i never used it i probably used it like for two weeks and after that I never really touched it and now that the kids are bigger like I just don't use diaper bags so anyways my cousin Roxy is pregnant with a baby girl so I'm gonna go ahead and give this to her because the diaper bag is literally brand new and then I filled it with a bunch of um, new clothes that I didn't really use for Sophia that way she can have for her daughter I'm gonna give her this little pad thing that I never really used either and then I'm gonna give her that pack and play so I have that there just so I don't forget to take it to her so yeah that's for my cousin and then this is Sophia's clothes so the way I packed was just in case, like say I go out to coffee with one of my friends or for example, I'm gonna go to a women's conference, hopefully while we're there. And I wanna make it super easy for Tim, but also for his family. If his sister's gonna change Sophia, if his mom's gonna change Sophia, 
anything like that. I wanted to make it easy for all of them just in case I'm not around and they need to change the kids. So what I did is I put things together like outfits. So when they grab something, this is a shirt and then it has already the little jean um, short cord, uh, what is this, overalls type of situation. Sorry, this one's right here because my daughter went and get it. Anyways, um, so that's what I did. So see, this is another outfit. If they grab it, it has a shirt and it has um, the outfit already to go. Same with this shirt, you grab it and it already has the shorts together. And then this as well, it's a shirt, but if you open it, it has shorts in there. And then again, and so on. And I did the same thing for Santi. So if Tim grabs an outfit, it's literally he grabs a shirt. Inside, there's matching shorts. So I did that for all of everything. So that way, because just because sometimes like when Tim changes the kids, like I love you, babe, but he does not know how to put things together. So I made it super simple for everybody. Whoever's going to change the kids, if I'm not around, you just grab it and it already has the shirt and shorts or pants or whatever. Um, and then of course, obviously the shoes they can just grab. And then I am going to go ahead and set up like diapers and wipes next to the clothes. Once I get to my mother-in-law's, I'll set it up. Um, just to make it super simple for everyone. it up a little bit i don't always wear makeup and i don't always do my hair but today i'm gonna try to look a little bit alive because me and tim have a meeting today with santi's like school um we're still trying to see if we want to send him to preschool or if we want to keep him home um as you guys know i have mentioned before he is in speech therapy and that's helping him a lot a girl comes to our house and helps him do speech um every week but they are suggesting that we put him in school and you know just because he's going to be three in december it'll be good for him um, at least that's what they say that it's going to be good for him and it's going to help him so i'm still like should i let him go should i not let him go i just i'm very protective of my kids i think as a mom it's normal to especially because he's been home with me since he's been born you know i've never left him with a babysitter or even with family because we don't live near family um so i'm just still trying to see if i if i feel like he's ready for it, if i'm ready for it so i'm meeting for that so like i said i'm nervous i'm just kind of leaving it in god's hands um, if God shows me, you know, that the teachers are amazing and the school's amazing and stuff like that, then okay, then this is what we'll try. But if I feel in my heart that I don't agree with what they're going to be teaching him, um, stuff like that, then I just, I'm going to keep him home. So 
yeah, that is what we're gonna go ahead and do. You got them done? Yeah. Nice, Debbie. Come say good morning. They're in the car seat. I mean, they're in the car now. It's much later. Honestly, the stage just flew by, but I wanted to show you guys the little snack situation I made for us. So this is water with ice for the road. And then the kids have their drinks in here. I'm taking my energy drink. I'm going to take the kids some yogurts. I made me and Tim some egg burritos with bell pepper and bacon. And then I have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. And then I have an orange, some hard boiled eggs, and then some slices of cheese and then just extra turkey. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be our little snack situation for the road and then I do have the chips that I showed you guys from Target and the candies and that kind of thing um, And then I'm gonna just put this in a little cooler in the morning with some ice But yeah, we are pretty much ready to go for the road that way. We don't have to stop anywhere like for food morning it is 3:08 in the morning we did it we are about to head out tim is just putting yeah baby daddy's putting my car in the garage um tim is just putting my car in the garage but me and tim have been up since two i honestly don't know how i did it but i just once i heard my alarm i just got up brushed my teeth started getting ready um and then we put the kids in like around 250 so yeah we're just about to head out so i will see you guys on the road We just stopped to get gas. It is already 6 18 in the morning. We've been driving for like I think two or three hours. Um, I think we have like five hours left or four hours and some minutes. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got hey guys long time no talk i have not picked up the camera literally since we got here um i think the last thing i recorded was when we were traveling from arizona here to california and we already made it to california it's already been a week um and i just have not picked up the camera because like tim like we literally got here friday and then um his sister got here later that day and it was like a surprise for his parents and everything and then so we were just spending family time and then saturday i went to get my hair done ever since i left the city you um, and then they had like a big family party um, at Tim's parents house and then his whole family was over from like Arizona and like um, Just like from all over so I didn't like vlog anything and then This week I've just been like seeing my friends and just hanging out at the house and everything so Yeah, I just haven't vlogged because sometimes you know I, I feel like this is like my thing and I feel like a lot of people don't get like the whole YouTube like vlogging thing and I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable or like be like what the heck why are you taking why are you recording everything i didn't even record me getting my hair done i just was in the moment and my friend did my hair for me which you can't really tell i mean you can totally tell i can tell i don't know if you guys can tell but um i got my hair done i freaking love it i put a reel on instagram so if you don't follow me on my instagram go follow me there because that is where you'll see the before and after um but anyways it's been a long week and now i feel like i'm getting sick since we got here my allergies have been really 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 bad and I've been taking allergy medicine. I went to Target the other day and I got like these allergy pills, but I don't know why this morning I woke up and I'm like super stuffy. My throat hurts really bad. And 
those are like the only symptoms i have so i don't know if maybe the allergy medicine is not working enough like it's supposed to or maybe i am getting a small cold because i feel like the past couple times that we've been coming to california i have been getting sick um so i did put i took a shower and i tried to get all of the mucus out of my nose and i put vaporu on me and i was gonna take a nap but I'm the kind of person like when I feel like I'm getting sick or I am sick I try to push myself as much as I can to just pretend I'm not sick or I'm not feeling good because I feel like if I give in and I go to bed and I just you know get in that oh I'm sick mood then I'm just gonna feel worse um so I'm trying to pretend like everything is fine so I came to Starbucks right now because I'm gonna get a medicine ball um because it's hot and maybe that'll help my throat if I am getting sick and then after here I'm gonna go to Ulta. Hey, can I get a grande hot medicine ball? Um, no, that'll be everything. Thank you so much. It has been a, such a long time since I've vlogged anything. I think the last clip I showed you guys, um, I was in the Starbucks drive through telling you guys that I thought I was getting sick, but I thought it was allergies. Well, after I had left Starbucks and after I went to Marshalls and Ulta, that night I got like super sick, like super, super sick, like a lot of phlegm, coughing. It was like hard to breathe, like the inside of my lungs, like right here in like my chest area. It felt so hollow and like so ice cold and so yeah i just got like super sick and so i thought i was getting better a few days after that because you know how usually when you're like sick um hold on one second my friend's calling me hold on friend jenny was calling me but um anyways so yeah i got super super sick and i kept thinking i was getting better and i actually kept getting worse and worse and then sophia kind of got a little bit sick and so anyways we've been sick but um i feel a lot better now i still am like a little bit congested but I don't feel bad like I used to. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I'm rushing now because I'm meeting my friend Jenny for coffee and her daughter. Um, if you guys don't know Jenny, I've known her since we moved to Washington, since like I became a military wife. And like our story of how we became friends is just like so, like literally it's God how we became friends. But anyway, when we moved to North Carolina, like two years after they got stationed in North Carolina, her and her husband Doug, and then we were, you know, we still stayed friends even when we weren't stationed together at the same place. And so anyways, we're here in California visiting family. You guys know that we're stationed in Arizona now and her and her husband are still in North Carolina. But um, yeah, she's here visiting her family. So anyways, I'm gonna meet her for coffee. And then she just had a baby a little while ago. So when we left North Carolina, she was pregnant. And so she had her baby. And then since she's here with her family, she actually leaves Saturday. So anyways, I'll try to vlog as much as I can and I'll up to you guys after we get coffee. But she's here now, she's parked. So I will see you guys later. It is much later. I obviously did not vlog anything when I was with Jenny. I think the only thing I vlogged was me getting coffee. Um, but I mean, I was just spending time with her and meeting her daughter. She's so cute. She's so chunky. Like, uh, it made me miss like the baby, like newborn stage. So yeah, it was really nice seeing her. Um, and so that's why I didn't vlog either because, you know, I hadn't seen her in months. I, I don't know. I just like, sometimes I want to vlog when I'm with people, like with my friends and stuff like that or my family. But like I said before, like this is like my thing and not everyone is comfortable like just with a camera out recording them. So yeah, but it was really nice seeing her. She's already going back home and then I just got home right now. Um, I got the kids Chick-fil-A because after, after, after we were at the coffee shop, we took the kids to the park because it was like right next to the coffee shop. Um, and then we took the kids to Chick-fil-A and there was like a little playground inside Chick-fil-A. So Santi loved that he was playing, but the kids didn't even eat because they were just so busy playing um and then we just ended up leaving so i'm just gonna eat my food here while we're parked in the car because the kids are sleeping anyway so i guess we'll do like a little mukbang um i'm not gonna talk too loud because of the kids but hopefully you guys can hear me so i guess i'll update you guys on the like last week or two that we've been here i've been sick as you guys know we got here literally after i got here 
I got my hair done like the second day that we were here and then probably like two or three days after that I just got really sick um no maybe like maybe like four or five days after that we just got I got really sick um so I haven't really been doing much do you want to talk about when I was sick because I spent a lot of time with God when while being sick because I was literally in bed or in the room not doing anything not going anywhere and so I watched a lot of sermons and um me and my sister-in-law did like a bible study the other night and even though i was sick like it's it's so crazy how god works because i was sick but at the same time like i didn't have energy to do anything but like i was excited to be able to just lay in bed and watch sermons and like hear god's word and it just helped me so much because recently like i'm not gonna go too much into detail but i did get into like a little disagreement with like um like some of my family members and you know, I hardened my heart towards them. I blocked them from social media. I just, instead of talking to them and letting my feelings out, I just got angry and I blocked them. And I was like, okay, I'm cutting you out of my life. And that is not what God wants. Like that is not who I am. That is not the kind of person I want to be. And so my actions in the past few months have been complete opposite of what God's word is. And not only to like family members, but even to my own husband, you know, becoming a stay at home mom has changed me so much you know I used to be very independent I used to make my own money so you know if I wanted something I would just get it if I wanted to do something I would just do it I never really had to ask for permission to do things and I'm not saying that I have to ask for permission for Tim but I feel like as a stay-at-home mom I always feel guilty of like spending his money even though I know it's our money and everyone always tells me like just because you're a stay-at-home mom like it's your money too but I think because I'm not physically like getting paid for my job that I do it just kind of like took a toll on me because like I got to a point in motherhood where I just hated it and you know I go through this up and down all the time you know sometimes I love being a stay-at-home mom I have a routine the kids are doing great and I feel like I'm like wow I'm doing a great job and then sometimes I feel like I'm just doing a terrible job and nothing is good is happening the kids are frustrated they're teething something's going through tantrums and it's just a lot sometimes and so going through that and then me wanting to work you know i come from a family like on my dad's side everyone has like businesses or has had their own business and so you know i have that desire in me to like want to start a business or want to figure out some way to make income for our family because you know i do want a house i do want you know for the kids to grow up in like big land and like i just have dreams for my family and i'm not saying that we're not gonna get there and Tim can do it. But again, like I feel like I need to help him because that's just the kind of wife I am. Like I don't have to help him because, you know, he's like, we can get a house without you working and we can, you know, but I would feel like you bought this house. Like this is your house. Like, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I guess because I just have that independent like spirit in me. I don't know how to explain it. I, maybe I'm not making sense, but I just want to help my husband okay and so anyways I got to this place where I was just like trying to force like no I'm gonna put the kids in daycare or like your mom should come help us and like watch the kids so I can work and so we kind of got into a disagreement over it because you know he's like no your job is to be home with the kids and take care of our family and raise them and my job his job is to like provide for our family but I'm like no I don't want to be a stay-at-home anymore I don't want to be a stay-at-home mom anymore I want to work so anyways, we've also like had issues with that because we're just bumping heads over it. And because I was sick, I was able to like spend a lot of time with God. Like I said, I was watching sermons. I was like praying more. I was really just taking that time to kind of like let God talk to me. And it's not worth it. You know, God is like your job right now is to take raise your kids, take care of them, nurture them. You know, this world is so ugly and so scary and, you know, anytime i go on social media or see something on the news it's like all these bad things are trying to do to the kids and so i need to be with my kids you know and one day i will work maybe one day i'll have a business but right now is not the time and so it was really nice to just like get that like peace from god and also to like i don't want to argue with my husband i don't want to fight with my husband like i love my husband he is a good husband yeah he's not perfect there are things that he does that's like okay why'd you do that but there are a lot of things that i do that it's like okay why did you do that and so yeah it was just nice to be able to like kind of like get a breather and like not be on social media 
not really see anyone or talk to anyone and so in that time god was able to like really check my heart and you know i was able to like ask for forgiveness from those family members and also ask for forgiveness from my husband and you know we're taking steps to kind of learn how to communicate a little bit better because going back to my childhood growing up you know coming from divorced parents I never really knew how to share my feelings you know i just always kept everything bottled in i'm working on it god's still working on me but i wanted to share that because i think it's super important that when you have an issue in your marriage in your family honestly i have learned learned from me don't go to your friends don't go to your friends don't go to your family and i don't say that like trying to like if you're my friend or family member watching this it's not to be negative towards you it's just you need to go to God. You need to pray about it because no person is going to make the situation better like God can. And so I've learned that. I just think it's better to go to God because God already knows the situation. He already knows your heart. He already knows the other person's heart. So when you go to him and you pray about it, he's going to work and fix the situation. If you go to somebody like a friend or family member, whatever, they could probably make the situation more negative or more worse or not really help you and then just go tell other people that you don't even know or just other people that don't really need to know if you know what i mean so yeah um that's one thing that's one thing i learned during this time and i also learned to just be patient you know to enjoy the season that i'm in hold on i'm hold on i'm like super hungry so let me just eat a chicken nugget i'll be right back hold on like i was saying i'm just learning to enjoy the season of my life and God knows the desires of my heart. God knows that one day, you know, I want a house that I can decorate and just, you know, the kids can have their own rooms. And, you know, I have so many ideas for mine and Tim's like master bedroom and bathroom. And, you know, he knows what kind of backyard I want. And he knows, he knows, God knows all that. So I just need to stop worrying about working and, you know, trying to want to make money. When right now my kids are little, they need me. They need me to raise them. You know, God trusted me with Sophia and Santi, so I just need to be thankful for what we do have and not focus so much on the things that I want because, you know, one day we're going to get there. Like I said, God already knows everything, and if that's his plan for us, then it's going to happen, and if that's not what God wants for us, then it's not going to happen. So, yeah, that is what I have been going through. Where'd you go, Roxy? Where'd you go? 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 I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose, baby. Ah! You'll look cute with a black hair. You always wear this. Yeah. Where, where those? Okay, I'll try it. Well, okay, I'll try it. All right. It'll, it's, 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 it's a thong, basically. This is a bodysuit. Alright, I'll try it. It's not a cobra? <laughs> sure. It's a snake. A snake is a cobra. Oh. Me, me and my weren't even supposed to come back. We, we met the pilot of the, of the, the Blue Angel pilot. That's when I love you the most. Now I thought I should let you know, yeah. It is Friday night and as you guys can see I am ready and it is nighttime. I'm actually going out to dinner with my sister-in-laws. Um, my husband is home is with parking? the kids. Well at my mother-in-law's house. No, no, I don't think it is. Um, so yeah, we're in Temecki, California. That's they perfect. are taking me to dinner. It's because, dude, you know what took me like three months to be able to record in front of Tim in the car? I would make him get out of the car and then <laughs> record what I needed to record and then be like, okay, I'm done. You can come back in the car now. <laughs> but then you were drinking the whole time. Because I, was so, because I was so shy of him. But I'm going to bring you guys along to our little girls' night and hopefully I get enough footage. <laughs>
we're back home and I already changed into pajamas. I'm probably going to take off my makeup right now and brush my teeth. And this is the first time in a long time. Well, probably the first time, like, ever that Sophia's fallen asleep, like, without my boob. And so I feel really bad because when we were leaving dinner, they were already texting me that she was, like, screaming and crying. Because she's just used to falling asleep with my boobs. So I felt really bad. Like, the whole drive home, I was just, like, quiet in the car, just, like feeling super guilty about leaving to dinner but i never get to do anything like without the kids or by myself so it was nice to like hang out with my sister-in-laws and just like spend that time with them because you know i know i deserve that and i know i need that but i don't think i'm gonna do that for a long time until sophia's at least not breastfeeding anymore because yeah i just feel bad like it's only 10 o'clock at night but i just feel bad just knowing that she was screaming and crying until she fell asleep so yeah, it sucks and I, it just makes me feel so bad and maybe for other moms it's like you know let her cry but i don't know i'm just i'm not that mom that can just let their kids cry so dinner was great it was fun but i will not be doing this again until sophia can go to sleep without my boob because i just feel terrible but yeah dinner was good <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Today is Sunday morning and me and the kids are in the car right now. We're gonna head out to church. Um, Tim is gonna go with his brother and his mom and his niece in the car and then it's gonna be me, the kids, and then my sister-in-law Summer is gonna come with me. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys around this church because I seriously love this church. I like how the pastor preaches and I just like how he really like just straight up gives you the word from scripture, what God says. Um, so yeah, I actually found this church because my friend Jenny um she had mentioned it to me when we moved to north carolina um because when we were in washington we used to go to this church called champion center we'd go in person and then when we moved to north carolina i got pregnant we never went to a church and then COVID happened so a lot of churches were closed and so she messaged me about this church because it was on it has like online service so me and tim started watching it we liked it and so yeah we've just been watching it online ever since in north carolina and then now that we're here in california visiting it's not far from us my in-laws live in lake elsinore and so we're staying in lake elsinore right now and the church is in san bernardino california so it's not that far so yeah i just want to give you guys like a little tour of it they have like a cute cafe a cute coffee shop in there they have like other shops in there where you can like buy t-shirts and bibles and like hang out there with your friends and like study and stuff so it's like a really nice church we already went to it like the first weekend that we were here but then we didn't get to go like after that because i got really sick and the kids were sick so yeah anyways we're gonna go today again <music> We're just getting the kids in the car. Church was really good. We just got Starbucks and bagels and ice cream right now. So now we're just gonna head home. Hopefully the kids take a nap because as you can hear, they are pretty fussy. And then I'm actually gonna learn how to make beans today. Um, so I'm Mexican, but I do not know how to make beans. My mother-in-law has showed me and given me recipes on how to make beans like so many times, but I just never put in the effort to actually like learn how to do it. So. Anyways, Tim is like tired of me using beans from Lata because when I do beans from like the can, he doesn't even eat it. 
I eat it. So he's like, can you please learn how to make beans while we're here? So yeah, I'm gonna go home and then my mother in laws gonna show me step by step how to make beans from scratch because I need to learn. Especially because Santi loves bean burritos. So yeah, I need to learn how to do that. So, all right, I'll see you guys later because my kids are just crazy. Yay? Yay? And I was like, oh, it's me. Let's watch me. And then Tim was like, what? Or, what did you guys say? You're like, it's, it's, they're like, it's gay. It's Kanye, not me. Oh. Like, well, because doesn't he call himself? Um... Yeah, it's just white. Hi? Bueno, sí, porque. Two, three. Yay.